Hello folks, I am the Ghost with Knife, and welcome back to more Mega Man X3, the final wrap-up episode before the last castle. There's only one Maverick left, but afterwards there's plenty of backtracking to do. But before we fight that Maverick, we're gonna go back here and get this, so we can have more defenses, so we have less to worry about in terms of health. Because I've gotta fight a certain friend here that I really don't want to. And I want this before we fight him, because he's incredibly painful to deal with. So, without further ado, I'll be right back when we get to that gravity area for Molten Catfish's stage, so I can show you just how you get this body part. Alrighty, folks, so here we go. Back in Bolt Catfish's stage with the arm part and the coolest weapon of the game. Now, first, before we get any further, this is what it does. Now, this is a very unique weapon. It is the most unique weapon in the first four games, because Gravity Well here only affects flying enemies, and it does a massive amount of damage to them. Now, I know what you're thinking. What qualifies as a flying enemy other than Blast Horn? Well, things that fly. But the reason this item is so cool is that once you actually activate its charge attack, you shoot this bad boy up, and whee! And its charge attack doesn't take that much energy. And when we get to Blast Hornet, you'll see how the charge attack interacts with that boss, and why I love it so much. But first, enter this capsule X. Finally, take this armor upgrade you've needed for seven stages. The upgrade will decrease the damage done to your systems. As you receive damage, a defense field will be generated to protect you. In my opinion, this is one of the best body pieces in the franchise, I will say. Because of the game it's in, and also it gives you this, uh, this defensive shield when you take damage that looks like that. Yeah. Lasts for a little bit long last for a little while, but let's go ahead and test it for you guys, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, look, there's my defensive shield, and now I take less damage while that's active. Ain't that nifty. I know what you're thinking. Boy, you could have used that a while ago. I know. But, like many items in this game, it's locked by needing two items that are incredibly late game. Now, could I have beaten Crafty Beetle first, and then beaten Tunnel Rhino, and then beaten Neon Tiger? Yeah, I could have, but I didn't, because I wanted to go with the boss that was easy, so I could get a few parts at first. And I didn't know the most, the the, the route with the least backtracking in it as possible. Sorry, I lost the word for a second. So I know what you're thinking. But what is the route? simple. Tunnel Rhino, Blast Hornet, Toxic Seahorse, or no, I think it's, I think it's a Neon Tiger, and then Toxic Seahorse. And then, I don't remember exactly. The route's complicated, and involves you killing Blast Hornet like second, and Tunnel Rhino first, which I don't like. Let's just go kill the stupid boss now. You can look it up online yourselves. So it's not that hard. <laughs> the last Maverick before the Doppler Castle. And also the last of the Nightmare Police. Oh, by the way, that's what the uh, the three are called in this game. They're not the X-Hunters like in the second game. They're called the Nightmare Police. Couldn't have thought of a dumber name, could you have? So yeah, there's that one thing in that spike area I was talking about, which I will show you how to get to, because I have the ability to. But more importantly, look at that, look at that, look at that. L look look how little damage we took. That enemy was taking like three bars of my health earlier. Oh! It's beautiful. It's godlike. This weapon could not... Th God, I, I really needed this armor part. I really needed this armor part, man. Oh, my sanity is coming back to me now. Mm. 
Oh yeah, that's how you get this. I think I actually need this part for this too. Funny how the most useful one of all of these is this armor. And it's one of the most painful to get. So we use this, we fly up here, and then you can jump out here. And that's where that is. And that's how you do that. You have to have this armor to get it, yes. Which is, uh, dumb. But whatever. For some reason, your right armor is affected by the conveyor belt, which does not make a lot of sense to me. But whatever, it's cool. Did I just really die to that same hole that I've died so many times before? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I have to accept the fact that I've got to start this entire level over. Because I made a mistake. I knew about that hole. I've been here. I know about that hole. I'm just tired and I forgot about it. For the slightest of moments. See, that's what X3 likes to do. It likes to, it likes to make you have that one moment of weakness and then punish you for it in the most brutal way possible. For absolutely no reason. I want this to protect my health before I get some bite. Because I kind of have to. I don't know what you're thinking. Jaeger, that was really close! It was! I know what you're also thinking. Can we take this to fight the boss? No, we can't. Get your race flasher ready. Hope you got four full sub tanks, because you're going to need them. Right. Just kidding. I've got to fight this stupid mini-boss that I forgot about. Which he does significantly less damage. Oh, if you shoot, he jumps. It's not if you jump, it's when you shoot. Which makes even less sense. I don't know why it's not doing its, its thing where it rotates. Uh... Why isn't it going to its second state? I don't understand. Is it another stage interaction? I'm assuming, because this makes the most sense, that Volt Catfish affects what this boss could do here. It's either that or Gravity Beetle. I don't friggin' know. We killed the boss and made that easier. Moral of the story. I'll Google it for the sake of the episode. I don't think the right armor is here twice if you um if you grabbed it the first time. I think once you grab it it's gone for good here unless you have access to the pads. So uh um, yeah. Deal with that. Sucks to suck, right? Anyways, here we are back here and what what's this? Where's the Where's the ship that we dealt with last time we were here? Well, Funnily enough, when you beat Gravity Beetle, you turn this off. Because Gravity Beetle was the one who needed supplies. Which kind of gives you a hint, if you came here first, that this is the stage you need to beat to get the life thing in Gravity Beetle stage. Which makes no sense! How they interact, I don't know. We're going to move on. To this awful atrocious being who I hate I hate you nice to meet you X I am bite I've been programmed to exterminate you that's all he says now welcome to the most annoying boss mechanic in the history of boss mechanics he shoots that thing and, if, and then he comes at you with charges, and if he hits you just the right way, he can actually 
I like how this boss, just like Violin, there we go, that's the reason I hate him. That's right, if he charges into you, he has a three hit combo. Which is completely fair. And look how much damage it does, even with the body armor. This is why we needed our sub tanks. This is why. So yeah, if he hits you with his charge, he does that. Thankfully, we have one of his weaknesses, which is the Race Blasher. And when we kill him with it, shut up. No, how could this great power can be generated from within such an ancient machine? I don't know why I had such a hard time reading that. Well done, X! The victory is yours! That's right, he doesn't say anything funny when he dies. He tells you well done. And gives you a pat on the back, because he can't just be a scoundrel. And a rat son of a gun. Like I want him to. Anyways, bit and bite are dead. deal with them again but I gotta do something at the castle place that I don't what I do moving on but yeah a three hit combo that even with the body armor takes about a fourth of your health game balance everybody now I don't need health the blast horn or anymore because I have his weakness not only do I have his weakness, I have his charge weakness, because I have the arm part. So I'm going to absolutely murder the stupid hornet that gave me problems. And that always gives me problems. Because Blast Hornet is just awful. And no one likes him. No matter how much people say they do, they don't. It's a lie. Don't let them lie to you. No one likes this boss. He's terrible. He's awful. And I hate him. And just so I can make sure that I will kill this boss with perfect health, or at least try to, I'm gonna use a sub tank. So here we go. Blast Hornet. Remember how earlier this was a problem? Well, like with many bosses in X3, once you have this boss's weakness, it's a completely different story. Now, if I didn't have zero lives, I'd try to kill him with just the Buster, since I have the body armor. But I don't care anymore! So as you can see, it does a bunch of hits to him when you do that. But now, be gone! Now, he drops like a rock! And you do a bunch of damage to him, and it looks like this! And all of his bees, they go sky high too! It's the coolest animation for a charge shot in the, in the entire series. Shut up. I no longer can beat him with perfect health, but it's fine. You want to know why? Because screw this boss. Drop like the ugly rock you are. You know what? No, 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 no. You're getting perfect. I'm going to sit in this corner and watch you die. Because guess what? His pattern resets every time you drop him. He'll go back to the left. And then he'll sweep back in that same little pattern. So you can sit in this corner with your gravity well and kill him in a few charge shots. Suck it, Blast Hornet! You stupid bee! With your bee copter in the background! All of the Mavericks are dead! I have accomplished victory! Not even gonna showcase this stupid weapon because it sucks! I don't even remember what it does, it's just bad! Guess whose weakness this is? It's Blizzard Buffalo! Guess who's you're easier off killing with without his weakness? Blizzard Buffalo! It's over! Mostly! Now we just get to the really problematic part. <clears throat> Any problems, Dr. Kane? 
I pulled some memory chips from the Mavericks, controlled by... Dr. Templer! I analyzed them and found out that... Dr. Doppler is trying to create a powerful new battle body by collecting the special abilities from the latest breed of Reploids. A battle body? Battle body? Battle body? First I thought Dr. Doppler was trying to create it for himself. What do you mean? But the information indicates that he was not able to interface with it. So it must be for someone else! Someone else, you say? Well, I know who it can't be! It can't be Sigma! Cause he's dead! We killed him twice! We killed him in his virus form the last game! So, who's he making a battle body for? Could it be... Vile? Could Vile have a brand new battle body? Could Vile be the last boss? A Mega Man X3? Sigma? No, he's dead. Can he still be alive? Oh, the laboratory has been pinpointed at point D! The most original name for a location. All well, indications are that it is Dr. Doppler's secret lab. I don't know why Dr. Kane's voice did that. You need to get there immediately! On my way! It's time I put an end to Sigma, for good! Too bad, Zero, you can't fight Sigma. Literally. So, could it be Sigma? Or something more devious? And yes, <laughs> that's where it is! Turns out in the middle of Doppler Town, in the big old area that was not occupied by anything, was a secret lab. It's stupid, but that's what it is. Now, before we get there, let's take one more trip to Gravity Beetle stage and get the final upgrade and do the last bit of backtracking in this game, which makes me so happy to say. Don't worry, I know where it is. Let's go. Oh, by the way, this is what the, this this is what I meant. This is the stage interaction with every level. Once you kill Blast Hornet, it stops supplying those big red missile pods with all the weapons. They, they, they die in less hits, and they only shoot missiles. Yep. By the way, this is his weapon. It's called Parasite Bomb. I hate it. It's stupid. You want to see what it does? It does this. That's it. Exciting, I know. It does disable their weapons, which is kinda cool. And blow up eventually. Okay, that was actually cool. <laughs> you wanna see the charge shot? No, you don't. It's bees that do a little bit of damage. So the longer you hold it, the more targeting reticles you get. And your reticles shoot bees. Which, admittedly, is, is kind of a cool feature. You get up to four reticles. And now that's gone. And we have the last heart tank. Now I'm gonna stop here for now. I could go farm up sub tanks, but uh, I'm done with Mega Man X3 for now. I need a break. But that's it. All the items we need in the base game. Let's go over it one more time for you folks, before we get to, de to Doppler's secret lab. Only the secret pe pink part there. Nothing there. Only the P chip there. P chip there. Nothing there. Nothing there. P chip there. And nothing there. And that's it. All we need for Doppler's secret lab. Next time on Mega Man X3, we fight Doppler.
at his secret lab. And hopefully, we end this madness and discover the true evil of this game once and for all. Hello, folks. Uh, we're not quite done with the episode yet. Um, I went into the Mega Man uh, X Legacy Collection X Challenge real quick just to showcase what I was talking about earlier. Yes, I've lost a lot of health. Yes, there are two boss health bars. No, we're not gonna discuss where we are or what boss the other one is here. What we're gonna discuss is uh, the secret of Gravity Well and why it's my favorite weapon in the history of the Mega Man X series. You see, the, Leg Man, the Mega Man Legacy X challenge thing is a challenge where you fight two bosses. Now, Gravity Well has a very special interaction in these challenges. It affects every single flying enemy. And there's quite a few, to be completely fair. So far as I've discovered, there are about five. And uh, we're gonna show you, using a boss we have met before, just how good this weapon is. I would have done it from the start of this fight, but I really didn't want to spoil anything later down the line, other than the area and, you know, the, the little art we're gonna get over there. So, here we go. This is why Gravity Well is broken. It completely stun locks and drains every flying enemy's health. So if you have any flying enemies whatsoever, no matter what they're doing, they get stun locked. And you just rip through their health. And this is why Gravity Well, as long as you can hit it, is the best item in the history of the Mega Man X games. Every flying boss ever is absolutely crippled by this. You can bully people. I have a video from the past before I like was really good at before I started my YouTube channel of me just showcasing this in the Mega Man Legacy X collection with two bosses from X5. Just teabagging the absolute heck out of them. I might re-record it just to show you guys because it is absolutely one of the dumbest things in the history of the Mega Man X games, and I love it. Just look at this. There's no challenge. I'm literally stun locking him to death. He literally can't do anything. Anytime he tries to interact, I stun him and then buy myself time to do whatever I want. And this is why Gravity Well is the absolute best item in the history of the X games. Fight me over it. Mm. Toxic Before we end this episode, I wanted to give you guys a little bit something extra. A little bit of a challenge for you guys. You see, this is the Mega Man Legacy X challenge. As I might have already described in a, in a clip I think I'm going to put before this. Um, what this is, is basically you fight two bosses from Mega Man's history in one single attempt. Trying to beat them and uh, a series of three stages to prove how awesome you are, basically. Um, so basically how it works is you get two bosses, and you get three stages of two bosses, and you got to beat all of them on three lives. Now before this, you get to select three special weapons to help you uh, basically get through this a lot easier. This is practice mode. I am fighting the last challenge of, I believe, stage four. Uh, four. This is 4-3. It's Storm Eagle and Toxic Seahorse. And I thought, what better way to give you guys something special before Doppler's Castle than showcasing one of these challenges? Now, I've given myself the armor just because I want the upgrades, but we will be fighting both of these bosses, Buster only, because I'm that confident in myself. I do have the Frost Shield just in case I need it, but I'm going to try to not use it. So yeah, we've got two bosses that uh, are actually a lot harder to deal with than you think. Because I don't really know exactly who I want to deal with first. Storm Eagle's pattern is thankfully very predictable. Oh, I, f I didn't realize you could shoot his projectile. I never knew that. That's kind of awesome. I'm gonna get hit there. It's fine though, because I can beat these guys, Buster only. 
This is not one of the hardest challenges in, in this uh, series of challenges. I never knew you could shoot his projectile. That's that's depressing. It makes him a lot easier. I literally walked into that one. I think what I really want to do here is I wanted to get rid of Seahorse first. Just a Storm Eagle without gravity is super easy to deal with. Wow! Okay, we can do this. This is not hard. Mostly because Toxic Seahorse is... I didn't realize you could get rid of his projectile. That makes him so much easier to deal with. I think the real problem with Toxic Seahorse is how early you fight him in most runs. Because he is most people's second boss based off of the weakness chart that you can actually beat. If you beat Buffalo first, that is. So he's going to get his hyper armor. That's cool. Get a shot off here on Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle will not be a problem once uh, Seahorse is dead. It's just because there's so much going on. Now, if you can destroy his projectile, Toxic Seahorse is kind of easy. Get a little bit of chip here on Storm Eagle here. Let him do his hyper armor. Get some free damage off on him. Oh, he blocks it with his hyper armor. Nice. So you can give Storm Eagle kind of a shield. That's just, it's so disappointing that Toxic Seahorse, his projectile dies like that. Use this here a little bit of damage on both. Now, normally, the challenges are really hard because you have to do three stages on uh, the same life and three lives that you have. But I didn't want to go through that entire process right now. I just want to keep you guys a bit fun. Something different. Most, the biggest problem with Storm Eagle is just how long he takes to fight. Especially in these X challenge stages where he literally can't do his... He can't use his greatest weapon, which is gravity. Because I could literally be hit by literally everything he throws at you and not take damage. Um, fun fact, there's actually a, uh, a fan project for a Mega Man game coming out called Mega Man X Corrupted where they actually buff Storm Eagle massively. Uh, I would highly recommend going to check out uh, information on that. It should be all over YouTube. I don't know exactly where the, uh, who is doing the project, but I've seen clips for it all over YouTube. They've got their own unique Mavericks and uh, basically like remaster Mavericks. They've got um, Storm Eagle's one. Uh, I know Magma Dragoon is one. Uh, Blizzard Buffalo is actually one that they did, and uh, all of the remastered versions of those bosses are super cool. So yes, this would be the last stage uh, in a series of three Mavericks, which is uh, pretty pretty doable with Buster only. It's even more doable with the weaknesses. But yeah, that's a fun little extra bit I wanted to give you guys. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next episode.